There is a Chinese reality show known as Divas on the Road. And it basically features women who are traveling on a budget. Now recently, uh, a Chinese actress by the name of Ning Jing traveled to Dubai, and when she did so, she had to wear a headdress. Now unfortunately in China, they ban headdresses, or at least imagery of headdresses, because they don't want to spread extremism. Um, now she was wearing a hijab, and they decided that in order to air the program that they taped or filmed in uh, Dubai, they would have to censor the hijab. And here's how they wow. did it. They did it with a cartoon <laughs> cactus. They did it in other ways as well. Let's take a look at the next picture. There you go. I, I don't know what that is. It's some kind of anime thing, I'm not sure. All right, and then there's one more. That's that, awesome. That was my favorite, especially because it has yeah. a little ghost accessory yeah, attached to it. Yeah, she's gone super saiyan. And by the way, you can still see part of the hijab to the right of it. They did all that hair, they didn't even cover it up. All right, now a spokesperson for Hunan TV, which aired the program, told 163.com the cartoon images were used because her clothes touch the religious topic, hence are not suitable for broadcast. Yeah. Okay, so that's the issue. Um, we have some more photos. The last one is kind of amazing. Okay, so they even edited the reflection <laughs> in the sunglasses so you wouldn't see a woman wearing a hijab. Okay, that's it's incredible. Awesome. It's incredible. That's so awesome. here's my question to the producers who work on Divas on the Road. Then why would you go to a Muslim country? Mm -hmm. Right? If you're not allowed to show headdresses of any sort because you're worried about extremism, why would you go to that country? Understand something. I'm not offended by this. I, oh, I'm yeah, more I amused by it than anything. But it's just a little wacky, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's weird. It makes you think about the different standards that they have there and we have here. Because they, like, they block out the hijab so they don't spread religious extremism. We blur Donald Trump's face so that you don't have to see his stupid fucking face. <laughs> And so, like, we, we both, we don't want to expose our audience to certain things, and it's interesting how we, we come together online. We do come um, together online. Divas, I wonder what the actual translation is. Divas hit the road Sorry, in Chinese. Sorry, I keep saying divas on the road. It's divas hit the road. <laughs> That's the name of the show. Uh, but here's the thing. Don't you kind of want to watch it now? That looks like an entertaining show. God knows what happens when they go to, like, like Latin America or something. I, I want to see I feel like Asian culture has a lot of pizzazz that we could use here in the United States. Mm -hmm. Like, when we censor things, we like to blur things, but why can't we use cartoon cacti? Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, I was saying, again, I don't mean to keep bringing up Donald Trump, but I was saying we should, instead of blurring it, we should put the Donald Trump pinata face over him. What, what's going on in that picture, That is by awesome. The way? I, she's she yawning, I guess. She looks like she's... What? In an Asian porn right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the Asian porn where the woman is being diddled with a vibrator and she's, she has to make it seem like she's not enjoying it? I do know that one. <laughs> no, it's not one. It's like all of them. Uh -huh. Not that we'll, I watch we'll any of that stuff. <laughs> there was a game show in Japan where a man is standing behind like a curtain or something like that and he is singing karaoke and as he's singing karaoke a woman masturbates him to completion and in order for him to win the game he has to sing on key throughout the entire song mm. even as he ejaculates yeah you don't see programming like that in the united states no i want to you just don't i i, I couldn't do the on key thing even if there was no diddling going on um, but yeah, yeah. For so, for, it's weird though that like, like they also had the other show where it was literally like a straight man whose challenge was to get through a certain number of minutes of a gay man blowing him without finishing, and it was to prove how strong and how much control he had. I think that ended up being a parody. It wasn't actually real, but it was awesome. So like they can show that stuff. And granted, it's different countries, but like hijab, oh, let's not go crazy here. It's amazing. All right, so I we love wanted the world. We have some questions for you guys on our TYT app in relation to this story. The question is, producers of a Chinese reality show pixelated one of the characters because she appeared to be wearing a hijab. Is this censorship or has this censorship run amok? Now, so far, 86% of you have said yes. 14% of you have said no. But now that we have given you more details on this story, we'd uh, encourage you to go on the TYT app and vote. We want your voices to be heard on this very important issue.